right now, the control of the commander seems to be uh, all the talk at the at this week's NFL owners meeting, which is why we sent our sports director Darren Haynes to get all the newest details in Phoenix, Arizona. And D, really the big news today is about reports that there are actual bids to buy the team on the table right now, huh? Yeah, so I, mean, I, I was working my sources hard today, uh, but we officially have a bidding war for the Washington Commanders. I can confirm that two separate groups have placed a bid to purchase the franchise. Now, according to uh, ESPN, both of those groups have placed a $6 billion bid. That is basically Dan Snyder's asking price of $6 billion that he wanted to sell the team for. So that's the good news. Now, here's a little bit about each group. The first group is the Josh Harris and, and uh, Mitchell uh, Rails group. Now, it also includes Pro Basketball Hall of Famer uh, Magic Johnson. Now, Harris is from Bethesda. He owns the NBA's Philadelphia 76ers and the NHL's New Jersey Devils. He's worth $5.8 billion. Rails is from Potomac, Maryland. He's worth $5.5 billion. And Magic Johnson is worth $620 million. Now, the second bidder is a Canadian billionaire, Steve Apopolopoulos. Uh, he owns an equity fund. He also looked into purchasing the NBA's Charlotte Hornets. Now, it's only a matter of time now. It's up to Dan Snyder if, when he wants to choose to pick one of the bidders uh, to purchase the team. But during this transition period, head coach Ron Rivera is still trying to put a football team together. And if you try to add players, you have to pay those players. And not knowing who's fronting the bill makes it hard for Ron Rivera. What kind of effect does the transition of ownership have on what you guys are trying to do to build well, the team? I think because a big part of it too is is we don't know what the new ownership wants. With the uh, situation we're in right now, waiting on like everybody else to find out, you know, ownership, we you know we, we got to kind of drag our feet a little bit until we get to that point. Is it a bit frustrating? Forgive me. To, to well, have clarity. It is a little bit. So here's the deal, because you're probably wondering what's next. I know Ron Rivera wants things to move forward as well. Once the NFL approves uh, their, with their finance committee, approves one of the bidders after Dan Snyder picks who he wants to sell the team to, only just 34 of the, excuse me, 24 of the 34 owners uh, will vote to approve this sale. And if that happens and the sale goes for $6 billion, that will set a record uh, for their largest amount of money paid to purchase a global franchise. And that could happen as early as May 22nd at the NFL League meetings in Minneapolis, So. Yeah, so this can all happen quickly, certainly before the new season. All right, Darren, they're live in Phoenix, Arizona for us. Thank you. And Darren is in Phoenix until the NFL owners meeting is over. Be sure to look out for his updates right here on air and online throughout the week.